Hey guys, welcome back. This is it. This is the last week for the My Cooking Journey 2021 collab. So, make what you want to make. You have a few days left in this week, and when you have it, make sure you have the proper hashtags. We'll put it into our playlist and at the end at some point, I'll go through all of the contributions and we'll have a good time just going through all the fun that we had this entire month a bit more than a month actually this recipe is going to be great for anybody who has ever fasted or somebody who will be fasting at any point in the future there is a hindu festival coming really soon called navratri which translates to nine nights where wives usually keep a fast for nine days for the long life of their husbands and some husbands do that in return as well but no matter what the festival you can have this at any point throughout the year and i know that i always prayed my mom to make this outside of the navratri festival but that never happened so let's make that happen okay so what we are actually making is called a sabudana tikki tikki means a flat patty and sabudana is also sometimes referred to as sago and it translates to tapioca pearls think of this as gatorade that you can eat empty carbs just to get that pure quick release of energy because traditionally this recipe is made during navratri and during this festival you can't have any sort of rice legume lentil no garlic no onion no meat of course so there's not really much left in terms of carbs that can easily give you energy there's only so much fruit you can eat and sometimes you feel like having something tasty and this is a great way to give that feeling so let's dig into the recipe right now so you want to first start by rinsing your sabudana your tapioca and then soaking it in some water for between three to five maybe max of six hours or until when you press the tapioca it completely smashes and there's no resistance at all it shouldn't be hard at all as soon as you have that sort of consistency then drain it through a sieve and just let that be for like maybe at least 30 minutes up to an hour you want to really give it the time to completely drain itself if there's any moisture while frying this your patties are going to explode now while my sabudana is draining i'm going to cook up my potatoes so you can cook it on the stove top pressure cooker or the instant pot i'll link my instant pot potato recipe down below so you can easily boil it and have it ready in just a matter of minutes now once your potatoes are done you want to peel it and then just let that completely cool down it should be cold to touch so while these two ingredients are getting ready let's go ahead and roast some peanuts just put your pan on medium to medium high heat add your peanuts right in and then saute until it starts to release some of those oils and then it'll soon start to get lightly brown on each side as well roast it to your liking taste it and then set it off the heat and let that cool down as well the only other thing we're putting in these patties are cilantro and green chilies and a bit of salt now traditionally we use something called sendhanamak or rock salt and i'm using himalayan pink salt which i'm pretty sure is a form of a rock salt but correct me if i'm wrong down below so in a bowl add in your tapioca potatoes all of your cilantro green chilies and then your peanuts as well and then season it with some salt because it's all cooked you can actually eat and taste and adjust the seasoning based on your liking you really want to take the time to thoroughly mix this so grease your hands with a bit of oil it's going to help you to combine and mix it really well together without it sticking all over your hands and once you have something that looks a bit like this then portion it out into 6 to 8 tight golf ball sized portions and then lightly pat it down to form your patties. Now while that's happening, I actually have my oil heating up back here and you really want to make sure that the oil is super hot. I would suggest around 200 Celsius and 
if you can't temp it, then just look for a tiny hint of smoke coming out of your oil. Not too much, just a little bit. Because if it's not hot, when you put these patties in for deep frying, it will explode. I'm telling you, it will explode. You want it to create a seal right away so the outside is completely sealed while the inside gets nicely warmed up at the same time as well. Have the oil nice and hot, less oil will be absorbed, crispier the patties will be. So I'm gonna fry these in batches of three and then gently put that in that hot oil and then just in about a minute or two, you're gonna have a really nice golden brown color all throughout. As soon as you have that, set it aside onto a piece of newspaper or a paper towel just for that excess oil to be absorbed and then do the same with the remaining batches. The flavor, the smell is so unique. And if you've never had tapioca or sago before, you're in for a treat. It's almost like soft, savory jelly, which combined with the potato, cilantro, and the chili, just creates this amazing aroma while frying. And the texture inside, it just melts in your mouth. It's, it's amazing and it's addictive, which is pretty dangerous. And that's how you make a sabudana tiki at home. I don't even think you even get this anywhere outside of Indian homes. So this is for everybody to try something new and exciting to enjoy while fasting. Yes, you're fasting. You can probably afford to have a bit of a fry up and still have a good time and still not break out of your fast. I hope you guys like this video. For more videos just like this one, be sure to hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye guys.